Hey, cheat meal has finally arrived. Oh my gosh, I am as hungry as I've ever been in my entire life. As you know, or may know, that I'm doing the 12-week body transformation and calories are st starting to get low, exercise is increasing, lots of cardio, and uh, just not eating as I had been, and uh, the, the hunger is, is insane. So this video is dedicated to sweets, desserts, and I'm gonna have a massive pizuki at the end to kind of cap off the day. I am concerned that it's just not gonna be enough food because my calories are going down slightly. So before I just go crazy into desserts, I need to get some real food in here first. I got some spaghetti, homemade. Uh, this is just a basic thing. I actually learned from Brian Shaw. Uh, this is just straight up bodybuilding food right here. Some pasta, I use angel hair pasta ground beef and some uh, some pasta sauce, some good pasta sauce, and uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That's all you need. It is fantastic. So let me just jump right into this and then we're gonna probably dig into Cinnabon next. So, oh, this is uh, two pounds worth. Sadly, this is not gonna be as much as I want, but I'm gonna enjoy this very thoroughly. Oh. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I am so hungry and this is just so good. This hits in so many ways. I love spaghetti. Oh. Take a look at that. Oh man. I love pasta in general. Mmm. Now this is exactly the fuel my body needs right now. Oh. Mm. You know, sometimes you don't even need In-N-Out Burger or pizza or whatever I mean just some good home-cooked food can taste as good as anything especially when your body really needs it I think I could eat three of these bowls. No joke. None of that be getting away from me today. Mmm. I make this a little bit on the meaty side. Need the extra protein and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be short on carbs today. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll make sure I get enough meat in. That's what she said. I gotta slow down. This is gonna be gone in two seconds. Sparkling water, grape, my favorite. I didn't even introduce the guests. I was so fixated on the spaghetti. Obviously, we got some Cinnabon. Got two of the caramel pecan buns, two of the regular Cinnabons. Got some candy bars, Reese's peanut butter cups, Snickers Twix. Snickers, my favorite, but I love them all. And then now, uh, I do have some ice cream. And uh, of course the pizuki, we're going to make that on camera a bit. And uh, it's going to be a big fat cookie with uh, some good ice cream. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put the um, 
uh, salted caramel truffle ice cream on top of the bazooki. And uh, some whipped cream. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be great. The only hard part is, is I gotta wait to make it. Can't just eat it right away because it's gotta be nice and hot coming out of the oven. So I want that to be nice and fresh. Mm. Oh my God, that's just vanishing. Now, as I mentioned before, I love to cook and I'm no slouch in the kitchen. And um, my best recipe, something that I've uh, been perfecting for 25 years, I've been making this since I was, well, 26 years, I guess, coming up. Making it since I was 18 and it is a, it's spaghetti, it's the sauce. And I have experimented and I've done everything in there. And uh, it takes me about two and a half hours to make, which all the prep and everything, and then it's got to simmer for about another four hours. And it has a lot of ingredients. It's a labor of love. It is my favorite food on the planet. Um, if there's any food that I probably could eat more of than anything else in existence, it's that. Uh, it's pretty high calorie, pretty high sodium. A lot of pork, bacon. Secret ingredient is uh, fish sauce. Uh, that anchovy base in uh, a lot of tomato sauces and spaghetti sauces. People are like, oh, oh God, please, trust me. It is, it adds almost umami to it and uh, it just gives it a depth of character that's, oh, I mean, it's amazing. So I'm gonna make that sometime on camera, I know in the future. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's high calorie, but my God, it's it is so good. This ain't that, but it's still delicious. Two pounds of food? Are you kidding me? It felt like two ounces. Man. <laughs> I'm turning into a savage. It's uh, pretty much desserts and sweets from here on out. <laughs> I hope I can handle all that sugar. I think I'll manage. Oh, oh boy. Oh. The smell of this stuff is is nuts. It's unbelievable. Let's you grab a little look at that. Boy, if I spill that on the floor, I'm gonna be hurting somebody. Oh. So what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I, I need uh, I need two of them. I need a caramel pecan bun, and I'm gonna do a regular a regular cinnamon classic roll. I'm gonna plate them and heat them up, and then I'm gonna bring them right back. All right, we're back. Got them heated up. Oh, so beautiful. Mm. And I am, no, oh, I'm ready. Move these babies. I think we're gonna throw some candy bars in, uh, in between them. Now I'm gonna fork and knife these things for the sole reason of slowing me down. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know the pace that I inhale these things um, when I use my hands. So. We're gonna slow it up. I normally start with the classic and then save the uh, caramel pecan bun for the end, but uh, not this time. We are, uh, we're gonna jump right into the caramel pecan bun. Oh man, that is a, oh come on now. Let's not lose anything here. I'm gonna lop all that up at the end anyway. All right. Nice first bite. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I 
I said it a thousand times, I'm gonna say it again. It just never ever gets old. Mmm. Man, is that good. I still don't know, prior to me having it for the first time in a previous video, how I managed to go 10 years without having this once. <clears throat> oh. I guess, you know, when you live like a fat pig and just eat whatever you want, all just, you know, your taste buds just go to crap. And, uh, you know, everything just kind of tastes the same. You just eat to medicate yourself at that point. Now, when you're dieting and lifting and you're actually hungry, certain foods just come out of nowhere and just, you crave them so fiercely. Mm. This is near at the top of that list. Slowing me down a little, you know. Mm -mm. The best. Mm. Don't worry, I'm coming back to you. All right, well. Here we go. We got some candy bars, huh? Start with some Reese's. I mean, who doesn't love a Reese's peanut butter cup? Mmm. There we are. Delicious Reese's. Oh. <laughs> mm. So good. Mm-hmm. Man. That's a normal sized candy bar, huh? Okay. Well, I said Snickers is my favorite, so I'm gonna save that for the end. Good old Twix. I love me some Kit Kat too, and a lot of the other ones, but <clears throat> I don't wanna go too much in the candy bars because if I had calories left over, I wanted to save it for ice cream. If I do have any after the bazooki. Beautiful little Twix here. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, by the taste, I can tell this is a left Twix, too. Mmm. Never been a huge candy bar guy. Can't say that I am now either, still. They're good every once in a while. Oh, whatchamacallits. I love whatchamacallits. Funny, I got a story about whatchamacallits. <clears throat> Anytime I'd ever go on a road trip, I always had a tradition. The start of the road trip, I'd have to bring with me a full throttle energy drink, which I don't drink anymore. I love those, but. I don't, I don't drink any type of soda. 
and I had a king size whatchamacallit. That is how every road trip started. So, <laughs> oh, I mean, here, here, you know, the king, the king of candy bars, Snickers. I mean, it really is the best. Mm-hmm. So good. All right. The classic. Oh, don't want to lose any of that. It's funny, everybody says they like the middle the best. I think I like the end the best. For some reason. Middle is, uh, I don't know, too much cinnamon or too intense? I'm not sure. Like, just the outsides are just, they seem more delicate and buttery and, I mean, it's all good, but... Mmm. -hmm. Ah. I can't cut this thing without destroying it, though. That metal was pretty good. <laughs> You know I'm doing it. I don't want to miss out on any of this. Last bite. It's over already. Dang. Mm -mm. Boy, these freaking calories are <laughs> adding up a little too quick. Don't have that much left. A couple thousand or something, but oh. Well, it's bazooki time. So uh let's head to the kitchen and uh let's put this thing together. Alright, let's make this bazooki. So I greased up the glass pan. Didn't quite have the cast iron the right size, so we're gonna use glass and I weighed out a massive amount of cookie dough. <clears throat> Only uh, 10 servings worth, right? <laughs> Let's get this baby in here. <clears throat> Hopefully this works out okay. The, the cookie part alone is going to be about 1,200 calories. And the ice cream is going to add about another 900. So, going to be... Gonna be a lot of calories. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. And now we gotta throw this in the oven, bake it at 350 for, uh, well, until it's done. <laughs> All right, we got the oven at 350. Let's slide it on in there. And now the hard part comes, we gotta wait. All righty. I don't know if that's done, but I think it is. We're gonna call that good. Now we're gonna let it cool, and then we're gonna make it fancy. All right, we got it out of the oven, and now we're gonna add some ice cream. And of course, the only way that you're gonna add it on here, we're just gonna chop this in half. Well, look at that, it actually kind of works. All right, there's one scoop. <laughs> And uh, a larger scoop. 
for good measure. Some whipped cream. And uh, I think that looks good enough to eat. All right, let's bring this up. All right, here we are. It took a little longer to make than I was hoping, but uh, this is a big cookie. Pint of ice cream, sea salt, caramel, truffle, and some whipped cream. And uh, it's melted, but not too much. And uh, hopefully we got it at a good temperature. Um, I'm a little intimidated by this because uh, the amount of sugar I've already had, and you know me, I, uh, I don't do well with insane amounts of sugar. I like the uh, salty, fatty, savory. But uh, let's see. So I'd say it looks pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Calorie wise, I think it's clocking in around 2200 ish, 2300. So it's a, uh, it's a lot. So let's see here. Let's, uh, Ooh, still nice and doughy. Well, let's, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. It was nice and doughy. Well, let's we'll try a little bit of the cookie first. There we are. Mm. Yep, I think it's cooked right. Still nice and doughy on the inside. Got a little bit crisp on the outside. Mmm. I'm liking the cookie right now. All right, enough playing around. Let's get into this. Ice cream with the cookie. I think it's too much ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> mm. Oh boy, that is good. Yeah, I had some people asking for bazookies. Funny, I had a new subscriber ask uh, to do a bazooki. Seemed pretty excited about this, uh, the sweets, cheat meal videos. And then I was talking to somebody the very same day. I'm like, hey, you got some ideas for some uh, dessert videos? First thing they said, oh, do a bazooki. I was like, well, I guess we're gonna do it. I think I've only ever had one of these. Maybe once. Mm. They are good. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone with plain vanilla ice cream instead, but we'll see. Oh, this baby is sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh.
It's pre-packaged cookie dough, Nestle or whatever. And of course, it's insanely sweet. I should have known better. I should have made a, should have made my own cookie dough. <clears throat> Ice cream's really good. It's just the the cookie part that is. Oh my gosh, it's it's sickly sweet. <clears throat> I came prepared. Just in case, I don't know, it's like a three-year-old bag of Fritos chili cheese. I don't even like Fritos. That's all I could find. <laughs> I'm like, I need something salty and different. If Just in case the sugar really starts to get to me, and it is. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to help. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I don't care for Fritos. Probably doesn't help that his bag is as old as some of my kids. Oof. <clears throat> yeah, that's no good. Man, I feel if I finish this diabetes, I'm just waiting around the corner for me. I fast way too much <clears throat> for that. I was pre-diabetic pre for a bit. Oh, when you're 350 pounds, you're pre-everything, you know? Pre one foot in the grave. Amazing what fasting, eating healthy, exercising. Who would have thought? People would rather just get surgery and chop out organs and take pills instead of change their lifestyle. Not the way to do it. There we are. Oh, man. Wow. Like I'm twitching. That's so much sugar. <laughs> I mean, it was delicious. Glad I did the pizuki, but two Cinnabon rolls. Three candy bars, largest cookie I've ever had in my life, topped off with a pint of ice cream and some whipped cream. I think that's about enough dessert for me. <clears throat> Could go for a cheeseburger though. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Offset some of the sweetness. Oh, and uh, I'm not sure where I'm at calorie wise, but I have a sneaky suspicion. What is my uh, allotment for today? 6,300, I think. So I got to be pretty dang close to that right now. I'm pretty sure it's right around there. And uh, so I don't know if I have much left. But if I do have any left, it's not going to sugar. <laughs> so <laughs> get a piece of spam or something. Oh, man. So that was absolutely amazing. My favorite part, hard to say. Well, my favorite sweets part, I, definitely Cinnabon. Um, oh, that is really good. This was really amazing as well. Um, man, I just have to make my own cookie, I think, the next time I do it. So, well, another cheap meal 
in the bag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, you can lose weight and still eat great. We'll see you next time.